Hi, I'm Marianne, and today we're gonna to do something really cool. We're gonna take you through the staging process with Lucy Terhune from Bungalow Stagers. So if you love design, stay tuned for a wild and crazy journey. When you list your home with the Home Navigator team, you get an in-house solution for design and up to $75,000 for repairs, remodeling, and staging. You pay nothing up front, we manage the process for you, and when you sell, you benefit from the profit. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Marianne. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. So I'm I'm so excited that you get to see the finished product of what oh, your team did. Oh, yes. Look at this. This is wonderful. Okay, oh, so. Great. Your team slays this product. <laughs> they always do. They always do. I'm very proud of them. Okay, so this is what we call that first impression. When you walk in, you immediately get a feeling, right? Like, is this the one? You know, it's, it's as you know, you know, buying a house is an emotional experience, right? And you either connect with it and Absolutely. mentally unpack or you don't. And that's why like staging is so important. You know, uh, we get asked often like, you know, why not leave it vacant? You know, people can kind of imagine. Well, 10% of people can imagine what they would do in here. So for instance, in this particular space, we decided to create a living, more lounge area. We call it the grown up living room, you know, right. and that, is a nice way to kind of like when people walk in, you know, they immediately can see what they would do with the space. And, and then I think the nice clean lines, mm -hmm. the very neutral colors. Mm -hmm. We actually have case study of properties that we've listed where the sellers were uncomfortable staging and then ultimately staged it. And there was a huge difference, including sale price percentages yes. and quickness of sale. So yes. talk to us about that and your experience. Well, uh, I mean, professionally staged homes, I mean, immediately, you know, after staging, uh, it adds perceived value to a property for sure. So, Absolutely. I mean, you, it, it, you know, your millennial buyers, especially that are like stuck to their phone on Instagram and stuff like that, already can imagine what they want their future home to look like, right? Absolutely. By the help of HGTV. By the H of HGTV <laughs> and TikTok and everything else. And this is what you're seeing in design now. You're seeing a lot of, you know, neutral spaces and stuff like this. And even though they might decorate it a little bit different, this still appeals to them. But it also appeals to other age groups and appeals Great. to other, you know, uh, styles, people, you know, whatever they're into. So, so when you walk into a space, and it's a blank canvas. Talk to us about how you see the vision for the property. Well, that depends on a lot of things. So we actually do a little research on demographic, right? So this home is a little bit different, but you know, if it's a family neighborhood, a smaller home, we know that they're gonna have little kids. We know that there's gonna be toys. We know that they need a, a separate living space sort of thing where it's a little bit more casual we will go ahead and stage to that demographic knowing that it's a young family and how do young families live now you know they want to be able to have their kids you know uh do homework at the kitchen table as well as eat their peanut butter and jelly or whatever it may be so it's a very casual way of staging whereas this home is a little bit different right this home is uh is is a larger home more upscale home so we know exactly what they're going to be doing here so that's why we staged it this way. So every home is different. We stage it and we also, it's about the positive and the negative aspects of each home because even a home like this, there are positive things about it and negative things about it. And it's our job to show how those things, you know, how they can work for you. You know, like this particularly large room here, it's a great room. It's where you would be sitting and dining and where you would be sitting and watching a football game. You know, it's a very casual space. People don't live as formally as they used to. So this brings me into another thought. And maybe we can walk into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between decorating and staging? Well, that's a, that's a great question. Sometimes we've experienced homes that were decorated um, and they're beautiful, right. but they're very specific. Yes. So talk to me about the differences in furniture sizing and in, in marketing versus, you know, mm -hmm. a decorator. That's a, that's a great question. And I can put it really simply by saying this, the way we live and the way we sell are two separate things, even in my own home. 
the way that I live in my own home is not the way that I would present it when I'm selling it. Uh, you know, staging is, it's, you obviously want to appeal to a large group of people, uh, but, you know, and decorating is more about your personal taste. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a decorator can come in and make it look absolutely magazine worthy, but, you know, it's a very taste specific look for that particular buyer's needs the way that they live. You know, for instance, like we turned a couple of dining rooms into offices because people were working from home. Right. That's, That's not the way you want to show it. Right. Uh, you know, a dining room needs to turn, be turned back to its original purpose. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. When we are staging, we are really focusing in on the focal points of the home and showing people exactly how to use those spaces. Whereas in decorating, it's a more, you know, it, it really is according to the, to the person who's living there, how they want to use their space. Yeah. So it's two very different things. And the important thing to know is that, that staging is marketing. First and foremost, it is marketing. Yeah. You are marketing a product to a certain target buyer and you are trying to get the highest price. So therefore you are neutralizing things and showing them the way spaces would be used and that sort of thing, which adds value. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely been noticed. Mm -hmm. We're um, currently assessing that data, and so far we've proven that a staged home sells roughly for 4% more. Do mm -hmm. you have any collected data that suggests the same? Have you been following that? Well, we, we find that it's actually more, especially in a market like this. So in a market like this, you'll get a lot of, you know, when we meet with sellers, they'll say, oh, you know, my agent says this house is going to fly off the market. It's, you know, we're, not, we're thinking we don't need to stage. And... Yes, you're probably going to be able to sell it quickly if it's priced right and everything else, but you are going to get a lot more if you stage your property. We've noticed with the properties that we've staged, it's more in the 15 to 20% range that they're getting. And that's even for lower priced homes like 500,000, you know, up to, you know, those are the homes that again, the millennial buyer is is looking at. And, you know, and they have busy lives. They're both working two jobs, they have kids, all that, and the activities that go with it, and they are willing to pay for a move-in ready home. It's and, always amazing yeah. to me that I can walk into a property and see beyond what's there, mm -hmm. but the buyers that I work with are not capable, and they are so wowed by a staging design, right. they almost can't notice the rest of the functionality of the house. Right. It's amazing right. to me to observe that process. It, and, and we know because when we stage properties, we'll often get calls that they want to buy what's in the house. Yes. They're like, because yeah. they, we what they- We actually had somebody yes. in this property mm -hmm. asking if the furniture came with it. Right, Absolutely because they, you know, we just show them exactly how they would live in the prop, you know, in, in the space. So. To them, it's just like they don't have to think about it, you know, but I think it's just really important that that first impression when you walk in to really be able to let buyers, like I said before, mentally unpack. That's important because 10 percent can visualize, but the rest can't. And, you know, and studies show that people spend a lot more time in a staged property than they do in a vacant home or in a home that has not been staged. And the longer you're in a home, the more interest there is, we actually obviously. We notice them cozying up to the furniture mm -hmm. when they come in. They mm -hmm. actually want to mm -hmm. feel the furniture, feel the space, have the experience. Yeah. It's really interesting to observe the behaviors. Yes, uh, you know, we always say it's like it's staging because you're creating the set in yeah. a way, right? And you're yeah. creating the, the lifestyle that we all aspire to, right? Hey, and listen, and I want my home to look like this, <laughs> Exactly, right? me too. And it's it doesn't matter if this house is a starter home or if it's more of a home like this, you know, um, you know, every property is a luxury property to that buyer. 100%. If it's your first time buyer and they're buying a $400,000 home, they want the same things. And they want beautiful spaces. And they want beautiful spaces. So that's what we do. We just, you know, create these spaces for, you know, that potential buyer. And that's why every house is different that we stage, you know? So talk to me about the cost value, right? Okay. So we've already talked that we're getting significant numbers for stage properties. The big scary question on the table is how much would this cost me? Yep, and that's and that's a very good question. Again, that's all, it depends on the home. If you've done updates throughout the home, like updated paint colors, which by the way, 
uh, is the number one thing I recommend to any time I go into a home. Um, I take a look at the paint colors, and if it's something that is very uh, taste specific or was very you know popular 10, 15 years ago, um, that's one of the things that we recommend. There's a 300% return on paint. 100%. So that's I the first thing. I just went through this with my friend growing up, and because I've known her forever, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we got into battle about this. And when the product was finally mm -hmm. done, honestly, it was a showstopper. It right. really was beautiful. Just it was taking real. down the tone, putting the paint up, little inconvenient, but... A little different. inconvenient, but that's where, like, the usual... Typically, the industry standard is half to 1% of list price, but what does that mean? Is painting including included in that? It can be. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we'll go into a property and we'll just have them deep clean, we'll have them declutter, we'll have them paint, maybe buy some new bedding, and that's as far as we go for that particular property. Mm -hmm. Other properties that haven't had any upgrades in lighting or paint, we will recommend that in addition to staging. If you're trying to get the highest price for that property and you're trying to, you know, really I guess, you know, beat out your competition, you know, you need to do a little bit more. But typically, a half to 1% is the typical industry standard. And you're getting, like I said, you know, I think the, the average, I think for 2022 with the, the RESA stats, the Real Estate Staging Association, is the average is 40 to 50,000 over asking for any property We're that's been staged. We can confirm those numbers. Yes, and We're higher even, and higher. I mean, we had one in Montclair, it was 190,000 over asking. Yeah. For a house that was eight forty nine, know, <laughs> you know, it's, it's really just amazing. it really it's the return. I mean, and it's an investment. Yeah. That's why when people say, "What is this going to cost me?" We we'll say, "Well, it's an investment because you are going to get that money back." Right. And I think yeah. I've heard you say this before. You wouldn't go to sell your car without yeah. having it detailed, right? Absolutely, and that's exactly what it is. It's like you're trying to have the best product, mm -hmm. best version, right? of your product so you can get top dollar. So, you know, we always say sometimes like in an owner occupied home, this is not about perfection because we see like the seller's eyes start to glaze over. It's you know, it's overwhelming. It, really it can overwhelming. be overwhelming. And sometimes it's like, you know, I'll get asked, why didn't you mention that? And I'll say, I didn't mention that because that was not nearly as important as this. Right. As professional right. stagers, our job is to figure out where to put your dollars, your budget dollars right. and have them go as far as possible. And it's usually painting, decluttering, cleaning, and then we hope the final thing, you know, staging is showcasing it. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you, we've been very surprised with the outperformance of markets when you yeah. participate in helping us market the property. Well, we're happy to be part of the team. Is there anything else you want to share with the audience? Some important tidbits? Important tidbits? Ah, uh, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> you just got me on that one. Uh, let's see. We covered um, what sellers can do. Uh, give yourselves time. I think that's one of the most important things as well. You know, we get you know uh, calls. You know that they're selling their house like two weeks from now, mm -hmm. and they want us to come and do a pre-listing staging consultation. And the first thing I ask is, when are you planning on doing this? And you know, and they'll be like, oh, you know, my, my realtor wants to have an open house like next weekend. No. no. Give yourself plenty of time. A right. couple of months is best. Okay. So like, you know, start way before like, you know, you think you want a list because there's more to do than you actually think there is. And you don't want to be so stressed out. But you know, taking your time and maybe getting that storage unit if you need it and maybe updating those colors. And those are things that are really you're gonna get a huge return on investment on. So, you know, this all this stuff takes time, as well as, you know, signing a contract with a staging company. Most staging companies are booked out two to three weeks. So it's, you know, don't call like the week before, you know, because you're not always gonna get the best service. And, you know. So oh. thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. For doing you're this welcome. This was this was fun. And, and sort this of was sharing fun. with the audience of, you know, the benefits of staging. My personal takeaway is sell to the heart, not to the mind for huge profits. Absolutely. Right? Always. So Lucy Terhune from Bungalow Stagers, thank you again. You're welcome. This and was my pleasure. This was great. Yeah. If you guys want to reach out to us or reach Lucy, you can call me 551-206-9264 and we will catch you next time.